Hey, a pleasant good evening, Royals fans of Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borek, and this is a reaction to the Royals' tough loss 5-3 to to the Wheeling Nailers after falling last Saturday to the Trois Rivières Lions and now make it two losses in the row, but it's still the kind of same reaction. It's a bump in the road for a very good team. Two top 10 teams going against each other, potential maybe playoff matchup uh, if it comes to fruition, and um, the Wheeling Nailers get the best of it. Uh, the ebbing knee was a de debatable knee call because it wasn't intentional, as Pat Richards said. So it could have been, but but it, it it was what it was. At the same time, uh, our Reading Royals could have succeeded more on their power play chances, uh, rather than just getting the one goal by Trevor Gooch there on the really nice rebound. If the Royals succeeded on their multiple power play chances rather than just one time, that could have changed the tide of this game as well. But I thought that the Royals played a solid B minus to B effort overall game. It's just sometimes, it, it, it like Kirk McDonald says in the budget game, sometimes sometimes shit just happens and you lose the games. You have a one call kind of go against you, and you also have a play where Hayden Hawkey should have covered the puck in the first place. But yeah, it probably could have been called for him bumping into the goaltender, allowing the rebound to go and he, and and get a penalty there, maybe for goalie interference. But at the same time, that play should have never developed into that because Hayden Hawkey should have instinctually just covered the puck and, and, and froze it there and and you just made the smart play, which wasn't the case. But after Gooch, Dechara was able to a pot of goals of zone, getting a nice shot in front, then Jostling and then Doherty scored, and then uh, Watling scored at the end of the period, at the end of the second period, at the 18.02 more, to make it 3-2. But the good thing you saw about the Royals in this game is they went up 2 nothing and blew a lead. That's bad. But then they, after allowing the team to come all the way back and go up 3-2, Dominic Cormier, and we saw him have the huge celebration in center ice, he came back and punched in the score. This team still does have that stick to perseverance, and resilience. They've had it the whole season, and they had it in this game. Then, unfortunately, there's a kneeing for Tomas Ebbing. The one guy on a wheeling tries to make a play and tries to make a move, and then it goes off of... Uh, the, of our defender and goes perfectly um, plops down to Cam Hosinger, who's obviously one of the more elite players on their team, probably the best, and he has a beautiful shot position for him to be able to beat Hayden Hawkey. So, so like, things just unfortunately kind of come to fruition and happen, and that was at the end of a power play of, again, maybe that ebbing penalty was kind of a shoddy penalty call. So this game, again, for me, I'm never somebody that, and because players don't do it and coaches don't know when you ask them, they're never going to blame a game for the refs for why they lost, unless if it's really that egregious and you really still never see it because it's not like the Oilers when they lost early this year and it was so egregious. Did blame them. I believe that game was against the Stars. Uh, the, the Royals, when it comes down to this game, they played a good, again, B- minus, probably level game, B level game for most of it, but in the end, they got beat because... They only scored themselves <clears throat> um, wheeling one power play goal, which was the Jocelyn goal, and then they scored at the end, obviously, as Halsinger was able to score right as the power play expired. So you could uh, say that as you will. But the Royals in this game really got beat by a bad few minutes in the second period, a and it wasn't like few minutes continuous play. It was really just bad spurts of the second period, where typically it's been like you have like the five-minute stretches or whatever where it was really the Royals were actually having some high-octane chances in the second, just getting stopped by plays, and but then they were allowing just few too many chances to wheeling, and that's why they were able to come in and take the lead after the second period, and then just after Common and Cormier was able to tie it, have a fortunate bounce play where they try to make a move, it falls to Halsinger, Halsinger's able to shoot, and then Halsinger packs his stats with an empty net goal, to make it five to three. This was a game again. Uh, I think this game was actually played well. Um, last week's game, I thought was played like Kirk McDonald said he thought there should have been more saves made, and I, and maybe that's the case. Um, but I more thought that game was played a little bit more poorly than I think he did. Um, where this game, I thought the Royals actually played really solid. The refs didn't help them out, but I'm again, I'm not gonna blame the refs when you go. I think it was one for five on the power play. You only get one power play goal. Um, and they play very good on the PK, our Royals did, which is to be expected. But they were not able to get it done enough on the power play. And then they were not able to hold a lead. And then they tie it and then give up a lead. So those are things you don't want to see. But this is just a bump in the road. That's my same reaction as I had after the Trois Rivières. But I think every great team has bumps in the road. So it's going to be my same reaction I had after the Trois Rivières game. Because 
Or if we go on a bad losing streak and I don't see that happening, I'm not going to change my reaction because every great team has bumps in the road, including the Toledo Wiley, who were in first in the league. The Warriors were in second. The uh, <clears throat> the Nailers were in tenth. And if you're top ten in the league, that means obviously you put together a hell of a squad. And it was two great squads going up against each other, a playoff style with some toughness and physicality to it, which I love to see. And uh, Wheeling just came out on top in a great close game. And I think Ebbing... Yeah, maybe that shouldn't have been called like that, but at the same time, the Royals could have scored a little bit more on the power play themselves. So everybody have a great day and pleasant day. Please subscribe. subscribe. Up above or down below on the easy-to-use subscribe button. Help us go to 200 by the end of the month. I'll be there tomorrow covering the game live. Hope to see some of you there against the Newfoundland Growlers. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and have a good day.